The free community edition of MySQL can be downloaded from this web page at www.mysql.com slash downloads. From here, scroll down to the bottom and click the link under MySQL Community Edition. Then click the download link under Community Server. Down at the bottom of this page, you'll find the versions for Mac. As of the time of this recording, there were specific versions for Mac OS X 10.8 Mountain Lion and 10.9 Mavericks. There wasn't yet a version for Yosemite, but the 10.9 version works fine. Download the right version for your version of the operating system. There are two different packages available for each operating system version. I recommend the DMG Archive. In addition to the community server, I recommend downloading MySQL Workbench, the graphical user interface that lets you manage your MySQL installation. Go back one step to dev.mysql.com slash downloads, then click the download link under Workbench, and download the only version that's available. It's 32 bits, and it'll work fine on all current Mac computers. I've already downloaded these DMGs to my desktop, and I'll start by firing up the server installer. After mounting the DMG file, I'll double-click the installer package to start it, and then I'll go through the screens. You'll find that the only option is to change the installation location, but I'm going to accept that location and install the software. If prompted for your administrator password, type it in and click the appropriate button or press return. It'll take just a few moments to write the files to your hard disk and configure MySQL. Now, if you're working on Yosemite, you might see a disturbing message saying that the installation has failed. But in fact, for most users, the installation will have worked fine in the background. To make sure that this is true, close the installer, then go to System Preferences. You should see that there's a MySQL pane there. Click on it, and there's a button labeled Start MySQL Server. Click that button, type in your administrator password, and after a moment, MySQL has started up. Now, to make sure that it's started, install Workbench. I'll go to the MySQL Workbench DMG, and I'll drag MySQL Workbench into the Applications folder. It'll take a few moments to copy the file over and verify it. Once the copying is done, go to your Applications folder and locate MySQL Workbench. If it's dimmed out, just wait a moment. It should come to life momentarily. Then double-click to open it for the first time. If you see the internet warning, click Open, and you should then be able to open MySQL Workbench. Close all the other windows, and then here, double-click on Local Instance. And if you see this screen, then you know that MySQL Workbench has successfully connected to MySQL. Down at the bottom under Schemas, you should see that there's a Test Schema, or Database. It currently doesn't have any tables, but you can add your tables here and you'll have successfully gotten started with MySQL on Mac OS X. Now, if you want to use phpMyAdmin to manage your MySQL installation instead of MySQL Workbench, you can install it separately. And I provide instructions for how to do that a little bit later in the course.